Welcome to Cadence Point YC's Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature or Linux Red technique in just a couple of minutes. In this video, we're going to present the curved slope continuity feature introducing Point West version 18.5. To illustrate this feature, I have in front of you a very simple geometry of a store. I'm going to rotate a little bit so you can have a better view. And as you can see, I've also defined a few curves over there. Uh, and I want to show you what you can actually do with this feature. So let's start with the connector. Let's assume I want to create a two-point curve that is tangent to this connector at that point. So now you have an option that is called slope guides, and I'm going to make sure that option is checked on. And again, I'm creating a two-point curve, and I'm going to show you what that does. I'm going to select my first point, and then I'm going to click and hold my left mouse button and you can see right there that now we have those guidelines that will allow you to drag your point and create a connector that is tangent to the first connector or that is normal to the first connector. So in my case, I'm going to make it uh, just tangent right there and that is your new connector. I also want to show you that you can create a curve. So let's actually uh, go with a, the example of a curve. Now, when you're creating a curve, make sure in order to have the slope guides option available, make sure that you're using the Bezier curve segment option right there. And I'm going to create a curve that goes from here. I'm going to select the first point. I'm going to click the second point. And you can see the Bezier types gives you those little handles right there that you can use to drag around and control the slope of your curve at every single point. So in my case, I want to make this curve, let's say, tangent to the first connector. And I also want to make it tangent to this database curve that I have in there. So now that curve that I just created in the middle is tangent to this connector and it's also tangent to this database curve. Of course, at this point, you can also select what type of entity you want if you haven't done that previously. Let's say in my case, I can create a database curve, hit OK, and that is the new curve right there. All right, another example I would like to show you is how to create a curve that is normal to a database surface. Now, of course, to make it normal to a data surface, you need to have a point on that surface that you can select that is actually constrained to the surface. In my case, this point is going to come in the shape of, uh, I have a database curve, so it's gonna be one of the ends of that curve. So I'm going to create a curve, Bezier type, and I have the slope guys option turned on. I'm going to select one point, select the other one, and I have the same controls. The only difference in here, you can actually see, I now have these guides that will allow me to snap that point of that curve that I am creating to be normal to the database surface. Okay, I can also snap this one if wanted, and there we go. We have now this curve that is normal to the database surface and is also tangent to this particular connector right there. The very last example I would like to show you is how you can also use these with conics. If I select a conic, you can actually see the slope guides option is available. And it's going to be available only in the case of uh, using the tangent intersection method right there. So let me show you what this looks like. I'm going to select one point there, one point there. And the third point, I'm going to define it. And as you can see, the moment you actually drag it uh, and move it around, you're going to have all those uh, slope guides that you can use to actually guide where you would like that intersection point to be. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, drop us a line down below or connect with us on LinkedIn, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.